So it's going to be public function output instead of output field error, output all field errors. And basically what that will do, that won't accept any parameter. It's just going to loop through all the field names that we added. So since this fields here, sorry, since this fields here has the name of all the fields that we validated, anytime we do add, add field, so we're going to loop through all of them and then just call this function over here, okay? So we'll say for each for each fields as field, we're going to call rectify that we're going to call this function here since this function outputs the error for a single field if we loop through all the fields and call it it will output errors for all the fields combined together okay so we say this output error field error and we'll pass it the name of the field okay so let's go at the top of our HTML here and at the top of the form field, let's actually call that PHP function. So we say validator. And what's the name of the function? It's called output all field errors. So we'll say output all field errors. All right, so refresh, actually submit, and yes, another error output field error call to undefined method value to output field error all right let's go ahead and see what that's saying this might be some of my um, spelling mistakes again okay output field error public function test output field error hmm what did i spell wrong this time <laughs> field, that's field. okay output field error oh apparently it seems like it's, I just call it out field error okay let's just deal with that so um, refresh and we have all the errors I'll put it at the top of the form so let's actually go ahead and remove these ones so we'll see that um, the whole form and the errors displayed on one uh, portion of the page so let's go in here so you don't have to actually remove these fields, but I just want to remove them because there's no point having the errors displayed at the top of the form and at the bottom as well, okay? So depending on how you want to um, style your form, you might prefer this style over here when the errors are outputted after each input, or you might want to have them on the top here and style them differently, okay? All right, so if we submit, we'll have um, the errors output at the top instead of um, at the bottom. So let's actually make sure that some of the errors, um, some of the form pass validation so we'll say my name again Lamin Sane All right and um, if we submit this now we shouldn't get any errors for these two so we should get only the errors for email and password so we submit yes we do get errors for email and password okay so there you have it guys um just to cut this tutorial short again and thanks for watching um, I know there were a lot of errors but just do remember that we're all learning over here and um, thanks for watching this is Lamin Sane of Elsewhat and um, please rate and comment below if you like this video. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next series. Thank you. Bye.